everybody, welcome to a flat tour. This is going to be a we're moving out slash we recently had a baby and so changed a lot of our space up kind of flat tour. So we live in a two bedroom flat in London and we've lived here for almost four and a half years. Our baby at the time of recording this is about six months old. I filmed a flat tour video quite soon after we originally moved in and so a lot has changed and we're gonna go through that now. Starting with the hallway, look at this glorious space. We originally were like, why is this hallway so large? Who needs this much space in the hallway? Well, enter baby things. This is very useful to have such a large space because we never have to pack this down and it just lives here. What also lives here is the car seat, which is currently packed full of rain cover, slings, and sun cover for said pram. But yeah, that just all stays out here. And then we also have this walker that I got for like five pounds at one of those parents selling on their old things to other parents market star things. And that also just lives in the hallway. And so yeah, this is our babyified hallway. Next up, the bedroom. Welcome to our bedroom, a bedroom for three. I really wanted to show the reality of a two bedroom flat with a baby. And so other than tidying away rubbish, I actually haven't like staged anything here. So this is the current situation. The first thing I can see is that there are some blankets on the floor here because basically we're bed sharing and sometimes Rowan just takes up so much space. And these are on the floor here because Dan slept on the floor last night. So <laughs> there's that, maybe he'll sleep on the floor again tonight. Yeah, what do you think about that? You won't let daddy sleep in the bedroom with us. Down here we have the charging station for the night light and my breast pump, very important. If we come this way, we have a bouncer here. This was the bouncer that was attached to the high chair that you will see, but this stays here because essentially if Dan and I are both getting ready in the mornings at the same time, then we just leave Rowan on the bed as he is now with the Sophie and with both of us toing and froing, we can kind of watch over him and he's fine. If Dan has left for work before me and Rowan up, which is often yeah then i will put him in the bouncer and put him in the doorway of the ensuite like whilst i shower so i can keep an eye on him and stuff i feel like he might grow out of this soon and then here this interestingly we're not really using that much anymore when he was a newborn this is where we would keep everything for like nighttime nappy changes which we still have just in case there's like an accident in the night so we've got a mat nappies and an extra onesie. We actually don't have any wipes in here, so useless. And then actually these bottom two things is filled with like breast pump parts that I'm not using, but like freezer bags for milk. And I honestly don't know. Lots of stuff that we don't really use day to day that often. So who knows what will happen to this. It was very useful in the early days, but not anymore. Next, obviously the cot. This is where Rowan doesn't sleep anymore. We used to have a very small next to me crib, didn't we? You slept in that a lot. He outgrew it. Yeah, you outgrew it. And so we got this bigger one, which should, you know, last us another child as well. Cause we bed share, we sleep next to mummy at night, don't you? And then we have a monitor, which faces where Rowan sleeps on the bed, just there. This actually is like fully attached to the bed, which is really cool because it essentially is still very useful because it acts as a barrier. So I'm the barrier to him rolling off the bed in that direction. And this is the barrier of him rolling off in this direction. This is the ensuite. Nothing has actually really changed about that with having a baby, so you don't need to see it. Should we go show them the other room, Rowan? Should we go to the other rooms? Bathroom. Okay, what should we do about this room because there's nowhere to put you. Should we put you in your walker? That's what we'll do. Okay, we're gonna show everyone the bathroom, Rowan. Yeah, come on in. Welcome to the bathroom. This is where Rowan has his baths. We currently have this which is a hand-me-down that just lives in this bath. Neither me or Dan really have baths, so this is now Rowan's bath. And then we have lots of baby bath books. And that's really it for this room. This is actually where a lot of like the bath baby products that we got gifted when I was pregnant lives. So, oh, we've got a toothbrush and toothpaste for him for when he gets teeth. Lots of Johnson's baby stuff that has never been used. That's this room really, that's all you really need to know. That's Rowan's towel, excellent. So yes, we have our ensuite, but actually like this is where I now do my nighttime routine and then I do my morning routine in that room just because of 
not wanting to wake him up when I'm getting ready for bed. Right, Ro, should we go to the other room? Whee! So this is our spare room slash Dan's office slash Rowan's room, sort of. Come on in. <laughs> this is probably the room that has changed the most because this used to be mine and Dan's office and this corner used to be my studio, but now this corner is nappy changing central and all of Rowan's stuff central. So nappy changing, all of his clothes and stuff. I kind of did a bit of a drawers tour in my 24 hours with a six month old. So if you're curious, it's in that. Dirty washing, more nappies. Here is the one part of the bookshelf that is baby slash kids books. As you will see in the other room where we used to have basically all of our games, like adult games, they have now moved into here because where they were before is now just baby, baby stuff. The desk area, yes, Dan still uses this to work from home, but it now has the addition of a lovely sterilizer. <laughs> Lots of bottles over here, some like baby artwork stuff, and then just like a ridiculous amount of stuffed toys that were given to us as presents that are just <laughs> on this shelf. Cause he's kind of too young to really appreciate them. But yeah, this is what Dan looks at when he's working from home. So this pulls out to a double bed and we have family stay quite a lot who come and look after him and hang out with him and stuff. And so yeah, they stay here. This is his sleepy head, which we don't really use all that much anymore. Only usually when he's ill and he just like, can't sleep without being on one of us, then Dan will stay up late playing video games here with Rowan asleep on the sleepy head in his lap. At the time of filming this, I'm actually currently recording a experiment where I'm like trying a bunch of different like baby clothes rental companies. And so that's kind of what's going on here with all of these like piles of clothes is in order to make <laughs> this as easy as possible, I've like already planned out outfits and then it's just gonna be like in the morning, just like grab an outfit and go. You're currently in one of your rented outfits. Isn't it cute? I also forgot here is the box where we like put clothes that are too big slash too small for Rowan. And in the cupboard in the hallway is where we like vacuum pack all of the clothes that are too small for him that we want to keep for a potential future child. Next room, let's go Ro. Next up is our open plan, kitchen, dining room, living room, baby play area, and all of that good stuff. So I feel like I've mentioned this in another video about our chest freezer. <laughs> which has been an excellent purchase. First off here, we've got my breast pump. This is where this just lives. Unfortunately, getting a chest freezer means that you now just have another surface area to dump stuff on. And that has been breast pump and then like the cool bag that my milk goes in. But in here, we have block for this thing. But then also very much just like many, many takeaway tubs of food that Dan has like bulk cooked, lots of leftovers in here, excellent. But I wanna show you what has happened to our other freezer drawers, hence why we needed this whole situation. <laughs> so there's not quite enough room in this freezer for all of our leftovers, which is very useful when you don't have a huge amount of time to do lots of cooking. But this drawer has now just become the breast milk drawer. And then this top drawer has now, that Rowan is on solids, has become the like mashed vegetables frozen in blocks drawer. <laughs> so that's Rowan's food drawer. And someone sounds upset. Oh, you've got yourself trapped, you silly monkey. Do you wanna go in your circle? Or do you just wanna stand up? Do you wanna sit down? Blop. Yeah, so welcome to the play zone. <laughs> this is the area that most feels like taken over by a baby. We used to just have like a play mat that he had here and then sometimes the bouncer would be here and other things, but basically he moves around a lot more, rolls around and kept on getting his legs like trapped in the play mat arches and stuff. And so I forked out on this bougie, <laughs> big squishy play mat for babies. And then also just this arch thing. So he can still like play with 
things above him and stuff. And he actually likes sitting here now with this, but I can move it around and we've got a lot more flexibility. And then we also got this ring from a family member, which he likes sitting in, it's handy because he's not that consistent with sitting. So it's nice to be able to like, just leave him in it and you don't have to worry about him like toppling over. Although he has started to escape from it, <laughs> clamber his way out. But yeah, no, this area just tends to kind of like, yeah, have jackets everywhere, have pairs of socks everywhere. All of the baby toys and often a baby. A lot of his stuff also is in these boxes. Like when we're like, mm, I think he's getting bored of these toys now. What we do, excuse me, Rowan, <laughs> is we look in here for the things that people have given us. Cause I don't think we've bought a single toy. So this is where there's lots more like Rowan toys in that I just don't know if he's like old enough for yet that we've been gifted. What did this used to be full of? I think adult games and toys, honestly. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Actually, we used to have a PlayStation. We don't anymore. This had a lot of the controllers and games in, but alas. And then in this orange one, what do we have in here? Ugh. We have some more big ticket baby items that either aren't getting used anymore or just aren't used that frequently. And oh my goodness. This is the jigsaw that I started the day I then went into labor. Start a big project and those contractions will kick in. Now that Rowan is starting solids, we have his high chair here that he eats at, another jacket, but here's his bib. And this is where he sits and eats with us. This is the high chair that that bouncer attaches to, obviously without this. But before he was like properly sitting up and eating food with us, we would just like put him in the bouncer attached to this chair so he could kind of be at the same level with us whilst we were eating, which was very handy. Sofa way. Obviously when you have a baby, the washing is never ending. There is just like always washing to be done, whether that is our clothes, his clothes or nappies. Excellent. But I'm gonna take my slippers off now. And come to my favorite spot in the house. And this is the like breastfeeding chill corner that I've created for myself. This is my like maternity pregnancy pillow that my mother-in-law got me for Christmas last year. And it has just been amazing for breastfeeding as well. So I just kind of like sit up here. I can kind of like put my legs up against here, like rises them a little bit. Feeding, nice bit of support here for my arm and his head. And again, on this side too. <sighs> I honestly like feeding him here. Just, I feel so relaxed. I love it so much. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. When I was pregnant, I watched a lot of like nursery tour videos or lots of kind of like, you know, one bedroom flat, two bedroom flat videos with a baby. And I did find it very useful in terms of like how people used their space and also thinking about what you actually need when you have a baby and stuff. That all being said, we are moving because we do want some more space. We would like another baby at some point as well. And like, as he gets more mobile, I just feel like we need a bit more space. And we need to baby proof it, whatever that means. Cause who knows what things you're gonna be trying to put in your mouth once you can crawl around that plant. He loves a good plant. But yeah, I hope that maybe you found this interesting or useful, or maybe you just enjoy being a bit nosy. But yeah, that's how this little rascal has taken over our flat and <laughs> all the different rooms that are now completely babyified. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. How we fit all of ourselves in. <laughs> I think, you know, at a squeeze as well, you could absolutely, but you enjoyed getting a bit nosy. Got a very chatty baby. Nursery tours or like actually, <laughs>